really want to tell you from a user's perspective, is this a good scanner? Tested a bunch of stuff. The little Krogu from Mandalorian. A mouse cover. I really am curious now how well this actually works. Geek Buying was nice enough. They sent this review sample for free. However, I do not need to show them my video before I post it, so my opinion is unbiased and my own. I do get some affiliate money if you really buy this, but it doesn't happen a lot and also that's not my main motivation. So this is the Creality Otta Lite. For me, the best feature is the wireless function. Grip powers this device, create a Wi-Fi, connect your laptop to this Wi-Fi and then the scanning software just works over this, which is way better than having a USB-C cable because I couldn't have scanned this thing here. Yes, you can attach a little phone clamp here and use the mobile app and be totally independent. But also the mobile app would for sure have crashed on such a large scan like this one here. In my experience, you really need a good PC or laptop. The tracking capabilities, they try to recognize features. On a feature-rich thing like this bike here, which has a lot of geometry going on, you can of course choose geometry. If you have something with a lot of texture on it, you go into texture mode. And if it's something in between, you're sticking a lot of those tracker points on the object, like this plane that I show you here. I put a lot of stickers on it and it still didn't work really well, so I was a bit disappointed there. It's a mid-size object, one and a half meter. I mean, you see, it works as a model. It just, it fell apart literally a bit when combining up and lower side of the scan. But yeah, I printed it and it looks nice. As always, all of the scanned models should be in a download folder linked in the description below. I have a powerful laptop over there and I have total freedom to scan larger objects like this bike. It automatically promotes its Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 7. And on the laptop, I joined this Wi-Fi. A good thing is here on the LEDs I see, I just have to recall, blue is too far away, green is good, red is too close, okay. This looks proper, proper good. I love it. Those were 7,700 frames, 881,000 points. The scan of the bike is the show of this video. It was this one question, can I scan something as big as this? And I think what helps here in a difference to a car is that you have a lot of distinguishable geometry. Yeah, it, it lost tracking, of course, but it regained tracking without even one single marker point. The image quality of the color scan is not the best. To me, it looks even more impressive in the non-colored version. And that's the thing that I printed. Really love how this turned out. You can scan parts of a bike just and create some attachments for this. This is the most common application on larger objects with good geometry. These scanners really are a pleasure to work with. In the nice little box, we are greeted with the calibration card, manual, the infamous long USB-C cable, another USB-C cable, strap, crew, the unit itself with its array of cameras, the contacts down there, which made up with this thing here. We have another tripod mount here the magnetic phone clamp nice and easy solution turn it on here you see the battery indicator it has a nice battery for three hours or so of scanning it takes about 30 seconds to boot up and then it blinks green this means a wi-fi is ready for you like so it blinks blue now and we have a light bridge now i start creality scan and this should go green Take some time, now it's green. You see the firmware versions there. You can mount it. Just say new scan. Start scanning. And we get the well-known interface. It's okay to leave it on auto demo purpose. Oh, that actually looks good. If you complete the scan, say OK, and then it will do the point cloud fusion or back to home. Let's you do just another scan, and that's a good option because 
this point cloud fusion thing, we can also do it on the PC. Like share it, export to computer and send it over Wi-Fi. Quite grown up software here. Oh yeah, so the tracking is really nice. So we don't actually need to make two scans for this to work and align them together, but just pause and change the angle. Moving in and out to get more holes closed and get this inner angles of the of the hands. Let me turn it upside down slowly to get the low shot even. Is this amazing? Now I need to uh, now he's confused, okay. So closing in on all those different angles. Look at the top of the head. Oh, oh, oh. Tracking last, okay. Our goal is to close all the unknown parts. Import it in credit print. Gravity scan to print. It complained that one million triangles is a bit much. This is my original Krogu, and this is the scanned and scale printed tiny color version of it. And I got it turned out. Yeah, the preview looks good. My setup is this small rig, quite nice little tripod, and this automated turntable here, this USB turntable, and this seems just about the right distance. And later on, I will just take it off the tripod and move it around to get low angles. Can scan it without losing the tracking if it's running at a constant speed. Now that's a very low angle shot. We still don't lose the tracking. Amazing. Now that I stopped the rotation, I can concentrate on details. Ah, it doesn't get better in the rear end of the car. So one thing that they improved in the software is that the point cloud, you see really fat points. So they increased the point size by quite a lot, which makes it a bit easier to cut away these things. The textures are okay. The scan, I see it is messed up there in the front. It's not terrible, it's not the best. But this is a real, really difficult object. What I see is that the front and the rear spoiler, they really worked better than on the Moose, for example. So it sits somewhere between a good infrared and a laser-based scanner. Okay, now it looks nicer, but it's still not perfect as you see in the front there. It's my pretty old Logitech G9 mouse. I can probably wash this and I will keep it, but yeah, you see this is a bit disgusting. Both sides, in and outside. And yes, on the inside it's even black and shiny. And out of the printer came this after two hours, a little over two hours. Yeah, the print is not perfect on the sides, I don't know. But yeah, it looks, it looks nice. In this. Let's just try. Try this on. Mm. Mm. It clicks in place. And it is a good fit. Check this out. It really feels nice in the hand, and that's the most important thing for us. I think it's around the $600 mark. I will show you the price now. It's a mid price product. It's quite good for what it is, and it opens up so much possibilities for you. Thank you for watching my videos. Make sure to subscribe and give me your comments about 3D scanning. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.